Okay, for this problem, we have some fractions. So as I mentioned before in a previous problem, whenever you have problems that involve fractions, the best way to approach these would be to clear out the fractions that'll make it easier to solve. And you can do that by multiplying both sides of the equation by the common denominator. So what I wanna do is wanna find the smallest number that all three of these divide into evenly. And the easy way to do this is start with the larger number and work up from there. So I start with the larger number and first I look at six and I know that three divides into six but four doesn't divide into six evenly. What you do then with that larger number is you're gonna double it and then see if the other two divide into an evenly. If, the, if it divides into it evenly at that time, then you've found your common denominator. Just keep doubling it, keep going up. So I would, I would try uh, 12 and then I would try 18. And I, I just keep adding six over and over again until I find one that works. So six I know doesn't work, but if I add a six to that, I get 12. Then I see if three divides into 12 and four divides into 12 evenly, and it does. So because it happened that way and it divided into evenly, I know 12 is gonna be my common denominator. So what I'll do first is I'm just gonna put 12 over one next to each of these pieces all the way through. So I have 12 over one right there times one third K. Okay, and I have a minus, so I'm gonna put 12 over one here and I have three fourths K. Notice here what I did was I just put the minus sign outside the whole thing. I won't have a minus here and a minus there because then it's changing what the original problem was. I, don't, I want one negative in there I'm putting it in front of the 12 because originally I had it in front of the 3 fourths. So if I put a 12 over 1 in there, that's not changing the problem when I do that. So be careful on that step right there. Okay, then I'm going to put a 12 over 1 over here times 3. And I'll write that as 3 over 1 to make it easier for multiplying. And then I have 12 over 1 times negative 1 6 K I have over here on the end. So I've just put, again, 12 over 1. I've just written that next to each thing. I didn't do anything mathematically. I just Basically, this is just for setup only. Now, at this point, once I put 12 over 1 next to each thing, I want to now reduce. Okay, so 12 over 3, that's going to give me a 4, 4K. The 1s are going to cancel, so I get, I get 4K there. And then this next one, I can approach this one of two different ways. I can take 12 times 3 divided by 4, and I get 9. Or I could do this step, where I divide this by 4, I get 1. If I divide that by 4, I get 3. So I can do some cross-canceling there. If I do the cross-canceling method, then I get negative 3 times positive 3, I get negative 9k, uh, and that would be the simplification of that part. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply 12 times 3, so 12 times 3 is 36, and then I have equals, and over here on this side, I have to do some division over here, 12, uh, negative 12, because there's a negative there, so now my answer is going to be negative. 12 divided by 6 is 2. Don't forget to put the, the K on there. When you do these different steps here, a common mistake is to forget the K there, and that's going to change your entire answer. So make sure you, you're careful with that when you work through. All right, so now the next thing I want to do, since I've cleared out all the fractions by multiplying by the common denominator, I'm now going to add like terms. 4 subtract 9, I get negative 5K plus 36 equals negative 2K. All right, so now that I have that, I want to get all the variables on one side of the equation, so I want to do opposite operation for this one. I have a negative here, so if I want to move this over to the other side and get rid of it, I want to do opposite operation, that's going to be adding. So I'm going to add 2K to both sides. So add 2K to both sides there. Negative 5 plus 2, I get negative 3K, and I still have plus 36 equals, this is going to be a zero on that side. Now I'm going to I uh, need to get the 36 over the other side, since there's nothing over here that canceled out. So I have a plus here, opposite operation would be subtraction, so I'm going to subtract 36 from uh, both sides to get rid of it. I get negative 3k is going to equal, this is going to be 0, but I do get negative 36 on that side. And then I want to divide both sides by negative 3 because that's multiplication there. I want to get k by itself, so divide both sides by negative 3. And then your k value is going to be, okay, I have negative 36 and I'm dividing it by negative 3. So because I got the same sign on top and same on the bottom, those signs are going to cancel. So negative, negative times a negative is positive, and negative divided by negative is also positive. So that cancels out, and my final answer is just going to be positive 12.